Hello, my name is Jerry Bowman and I'm a member of Cessna Customer Service Engineering Team Structures. Today, I'd like to discuss the requirements for providing value-added orientation photographs for structural issues and show you a few examples. Orientation photos for your structural issue can help narrow down the exact location and reduce the amount of time required to evaluate the problem. Outside of major structural damage involving a large portion of the aircraft, most stru structural issues are confined to just one or a few areas of concern. In most cases, three or four photos for a single damaged area are sufficient. The first of these photos would be the orientation view. Before taking any photos, I highly recommend reviewing other team structures videos on camera focusing, image size, JPEG quality, lighting, and today's use of smartphones. The purpose of an orientation photograph is to give team structures a visual general indication of where the issue is located on the aircraft and the affected part. Generally, showing a large portion of the major subassembly where the issue is located will suffice. Depending on the size of the damage, it can be difficult to see the location of the damage in the zoomed out orientation photo. Team Structures recommends circling the damage with a dry erase marker, flagging the area with tape, or modifying the photo with computer software. Team Structures uses the free downloadable online application Photoscape. Thank you for your time and please be sure to view the other two intermediate and macro video segments.